Welcome to Marundi Pizza Night. What's going on on Pizza Night? This is what happens when I take too long. These are my um, aperitif. Ooh, an aperitif. So for like the past, I don't know, it just makes fun of me. She says that every time I tell this story, it gets longer, but I think it has legitimately been, eight we just, years. eight years, we just did the math. For like the last eight years, generally Saturday nights, but has, it has occasionally moved to Friday nights, comes back to Saturday nights, or if we have plans, it's such a priority, it gets just moved into the week. But basically every single week, one night a week, we do pizza. The story of how this started, I don't really remember, but the journey that we've been on has been pretty crazy surrounding it. When we first started, we would basically buy a crust. Uh, actually, rewind, I think we were buying pizza, weren't we? Just like buying pizza once a week? That's how it, yeah, that's how it started. Okay, so it originated, we were buying pizza. From there, we started buying like crust and then building our own pizza. From that, we started buying like this Delalo ready to go pack and you kind of build it, you know, as it comes. Now, we're, we're seasoned professionals. We're basically out here just spinning that dough, doing that. Seriously, we're making pretty much everything from scratch at this point. We do pizza uh, from flour, water, yeast. We uh, make the sauce from scratch. And uh, tonight we're gonna let you guys sit in on some of what we're doing. So check it out, enjoy. Oh no. Part of the tradition is of course, we usually have sometimes Prosecco, but almost always some kind of wine, usually Italian. Lately, especially with like, we do a very specific topping choice. We used to play around with different options of what we put on it. And now there's like pretty much a mainstay. And I personally think Lambrusco pairs really, really well with it. I also think Lambrusco is super underrated. It's affordable, it's really beautiful, it's fun, it's fruity, it's sparkly. A really reasonable price, you can get a really fun bottle. Get a great pairing for uh, some delicious pizza tonight. A lot of times, especially like if I'm getting ready for a competition or if I just need to clean it up, uh, it's pretty common that I only drink sometimes one or maybe two nights a week total. And so I usually reserve that glass or two of wine for pizza night. I know that when I have pizza with Jess and we're gonna be hanging out, I wanna enjoy that with wine. Just reserve that, kind of maintain that balance. like how do you make something taste great or like what's the key to making a great meal or cooking at home and the, the reality is like there's a little bit of skill but it's honestly like starting with quality ingredients and if so if you start with crap you're gonna get crap if you start with great stuff you're probably gonna get at least better stuff even if it's not awesome I'm not sure my whole recipe with you guys because this shit's secret dude but definitely have to start with some real double zero Italian flour that's what's gonna be the base of this. From there, let this guy rise. You can see the little bubble here. And now we need to divide this into two balls because we're gonna get two crusts out of this guy. Look at that. Ooh, he is risen. At any given time in the house when I'm cooking, maybe when I'm not even cooking, if I'm just in the kitchen, um, one of the most important things to always have present is a little helper. Sophia, that's a good set. So while the crust does its second rise, which is much shorter than the overnight first rise, we'll get our ingredients out, get ready to rock. All right, so we're gonna check on these guys, see how they're going. They should be a little bigger than they were. And they are. Take a look. Fluffed back up. These guys are ready to do their job. And their job is to be worked into a beautiful, delicious pizza crust. Let's freaking do it. Guys, 
are probably like, wait a minute, dude. You can't make pizza, you don't have a pizza oven. We just use a traditional oven that we have in our kitchen, at least for right now, till I can build a bitchin' brick oven pizza in our backyard, which is gonna happen. Until then, we rev this baby up to somewhere between 460 and 480. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason for the 20 degree difference, and I'm sure that someone somewhere will tell me why that's important, but it, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've cooked a lot of pizzas, it's not that important. What is important though, is you get a great pizza stone and that's what we cook our pizza on. While the stone's nice and hot, get this thing down and then we're gonna build the pizza right here. First of all, one of the most important things when you're making an awesome pizza after starting with great ingredients is that less is more. I hate when people load pounds of cheese on their pizza trash comment below if you don't like it for me we're doing homemade sauce next up we're gonna throw down some burrata that's it finito no more cheese that's good now for the prosciutto we get our slice at a local deli the cool thing about this if it's an option is that you really don't need De Parma, especially because I per personally, I really like my prosciutto cooked on the pizza. And that's a little bit untraditional. A lot of people like to lay theirs on after while the pizza is still hot. But we, I don't know what you prefer. I really prefer mine put on there and crisped up. Finally, some fresh arugula. <laughs> Finishing touches here. We're gonna hit this with some fresh basil leaves. Jess is gonna use some balsamic for hers, um, which she is very particular about. And some fresh grated parm. But again, less is more, man. All right, thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight, watching us have our delicious pizza day night in. Nine years, eight years, seven years of this going strong restaurant coming soon. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to get more of me. Really though, more of her, maybe our cute dogs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.